Hi, my name is Gavin from Horn and Phillips Catering Company. I'm here today to show you a very simple lamb cutlet with panko crumbs and basil pesto with a watercress and a ginger dressing. First of all, we've got these beautiful lamb, Karoo lamb cutlets. You, you go to your butcher and you can ask him to actually Swiss trim for you and you get the nice bone coming out like this. We put the cutlet down on the board and then we get some basil pesto, which we're going to do like this. Take a teaspoon, rub it in nicely into the lamb on both sides. I'll do the first side. Is it nice? Be generous. It's a nice taste of the lamb. It goes nicely with lamb or basil pesto. Turn it over. And then we're going to do this the other side quickly. Basically, your basil pesto has got pine nuts in it, which is a very expensive ingredient. So a lot of people actually cheat and they put peanuts in it. But this is the proper one. Then I'm going to take my crumbs, there's the panko crumbs here. I'm going to put some generous parmesan cheese in there, some paprika, some little bit of black pepper, and some nice, beautiful Himalayan salt into the crumbs. Give it a nice quick mix, quickly mix it. And then, while I'm going to crumb it, I'm going to turn my little induction plate on so we can get going here to heat up the oil. About 200 mils of oil in here to fry these so they're nice and crispy. Put the lamb chops into the crumbs and generously push them down so they get all of the crumbs into it. Put it on the board, do the other one. Push it down so the crumbs actually could go into the meat so it doesn't come break off all the time. Now the oil is heating up, let's put it over there. 200 mils oil as I said, we'll look to get about to 180 degrees. Then we'll just deep fry these. Okay, let's have a go. There we are. So it's like sizzling now now. And you'll have to keep on turning them so the lamb cooks through both sides. While we're waiting for that to cook, I'm going to make a quick salad. Got some watercress here. Break it up nicely like this. Put it on the plate there. The cocktail tomatoes on the plate. Cut it off. And then some red pepper. Give it some more colour. Thinly julienned. Let's quickly turn these over while we're doing this. Get a nice golden brown on either side. We'll turn it over a few times because so, uh, it cooks evenly through all times. Then I'll take some green pepper. Julian again. And some cucumber finally. Cut in half, slice thinly. There we are. Now we're going to take some lime quickly to make the dressing. The best thing about lime juice is if you roll it like this, quite hard for a while, it cut, makes it easier juice. You can squeeze the juice out, much easier. Nice and easy, a little bit of dressing, don't need much. And a little bit of honey. A little bit of ginger, it's finely chopped. A little bit of mustard, just a little drop of mustard. Some black pepper. And some beautiful red wine vinegar. Let's turn the chops over quickly again. Okay, nice golden colour now. 
get a whisk. Can you just whisk up the dressing quickly? And let's pour over the salad like this, gently over the salad. Give it a nice flavor and marinate into the salad quickly. Nice lemon wedges in there, because it goes nicely with the crumbs. And yeah, Bobby's uncle. 